Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana, I hope you're having a really, really good day. This is the second video in a two-part series all about commands and adding custom commands to your Twitch or YouTube gaming stream. The first video that I did, which I've linked in the description below, specifically goes into essential commands that you need to add to your channel that people have come to expect on Twitch or YouTube gaming. Things that are absolutely essential, I think there's like nine of them. Things that really, without having these, there's a pretty high chance that your stream's going to be less interactive, less informative, and really not even hitting the bar where custom commands is concerned. In this particular video, the second one, some more sort of desirable commands. Some of these are a little bit more complicated to give you some more kind of creative juices and ideas of things that you can do on your channel. And it uses the Streamlabs CloudBot chat functions. This is a free chat function and there's loads of stuff you can do from CloudBot. But one of the things you can do is custom commands. The custom command section has a place that has like custom default and variables. And it's those variables that I'm going to go into more detail in within this video. I'm not going to go for every single one because there's literally like a hundred of them or something like that, but I'll go into some of them. Feel free to absolutely directly copy what I show you in this video. I don't really care. If it makes you stream better, then that's good enough for me. Or if you come up with some really good ideas yourself or I've missed something, please do comment in the comments below so that I can steal yours. As always, if you do find this useful, feel free to like the video and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of the content. And of course, you can check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine day and if you want to come and hang out on my stream. I think we're ready to roll. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so bear in mind here, the whole purpose of this is to make your chat more interactive, to make it more informative, fun, more entertaining. So these commands that I'm going to show you now are very varied in nature, trying to give you like a broad range of ideas that you can either use directly on your channel or just to give you kind of some creative flow of ju juices. It's kind of just made myself feel a little bit weird there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> So yeah, firstly, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about how to set up custom commands because there's also a video that I'll link in the description and how to add a custom command. So I've, I've already done that content, okay? I'm not going to do it again. We're going to go through here some custom commands specifically on the command section. I'm also going to go into the variables function here. And as you can see, there are a lot of different variables. So with a custom command, you can add static text, URLs and things like that. And of course, you can color it by adding forward slash me. We'll color the text the same color as your bot, which will help it to distinguish distinguish from the other text messages that are in your chat, so human and bots. But the variables just add a new dynamic because they pull in dynamic content, which is, yeah, depend. it can be based on random number generators, it could database, it can be based, there's a number of things it can be based on, and you can get really creative with that. So in the first video, I talked specifically about having, as an essential command, a shout out function, but it was very generic, and having a base one is okay, but really, you want to make sure you've got a broad range of shout out functions. To me, I've got a so raid, so big, so host, so affiliate. I've got loads of different ones. This just helps me to specifically shout out somebody for whatever it is that they're specifically doing on stream. Because let's face it, a lot of the time the shout outs are for raids and hosts and things like that. And you may not be able to because of your chat volume or some other stuff like that. Your mods will be able to then use the shout out function or you can even let anyone have the commands. It doesn't have to just be mods, but I would advise probably only letting your mods use the shout out functions. So I've set up things like so raid, so affiliate, etc, etc. And it uses this variable here, which is the target's name. So if I do a so affiliate and I'll just put like my wife, for example, magical gems. So let's say she's just hit affiliate or something like that. I can shout that out. It'll pull in her target name, Twitch channel, and it'll also pull in the game that she was last playing. But because I'm adding multiple versions of these shout outs, I can now start talking about things like congrats on affiliate. Look forward to, this is sarcasm, all of that juicy money from Twitch. Mm, juicy money. Oh, there he goes again. Why am I doing that? Why, why have I just started doing that? That's dumb. This is dumb. This just is a little bit more specific. And, and to be honest, I'll be honest, like the shout outs have become so common on Twitch. Doing something a little bit different is worthwhile. The next command that we're going to get into is like a random number command. You can just simply have a random number roller and you can define the number brackets. So the, the higher and the lower end of that. So it'll pick a random number from that, which is useful anyway. But I find it's pretty cool to have and create more interesting commands with the random number generator that people can interact with that just make your stream a little bit more interesting. So I've seen people have things like a vibe check or a coolness check, a fresh check or something like that. There's all kinds of different things you could do. On my channel, we have girth, okay? So I have a girth check. It's a random number generator, but it's quite fun and it's stupid. And I'm probably getting demonetized for using the word girth, but I don't care because that's what I've got in my channel. Girth doesn't have to mean 
what you think it means, okay? Girth can be a way of life, okay? So the way that this command works, once again, I've got the forward slash me to call the text of the response here, but you've got like a thousand name, which will name whoever it is that you tag. Bear in mind, anyone can do this command and it will tag them. And then it says a random number and you define what these random numbers are, what the two upper and lower scales are. And it's random dot and then what the numbers are. So girthy check. So I'm doing this command here. So because it's me that's doing it, it'll do a random number check and it'll check how girthy I am, okay? There you go, 81% girth. It's not quite 100% girthy, but okay, I'll take it. I've used it in that way, but I'm sure you can come up with stuff that's way less crude than that and, and way more creative than that and, and ways that probably won't get you demonetized. Let me know what you come up with. Stick it in the chat below. I'm really, really genuinely interested to know what you come up with for this. The next one's a pretty straightforward one. It's just like a meme -y type one, to be honest. Exclamation point F. If you want people to be able to pay respects in chat, this just uses the thousand name. It just says it pays their respect in chat. Really quick and easy to set up. The next one one is just simply having commands that can add key information about you as the streamer. For me, I've got one that will show people what my epic addy is or what my Steam addy is, and that just means that I can easily get people to add me on Steam if I'm gaming with the community. And that just returns some static text. There's no variables in this one. So there you go. There's my Steam profile here. And just to show the F in chat one as well in action, there you go. Hey, there respects in chat. So they're just really quick and easy to add, and it saves you from having to type it out and spell it. And particularly if you've got like a really weird user name. And why do, why do you do that anyway? Okay, why do you have to complicate things? Just get a normal name. The next one I'm going to go through is like an MD fail one or some sort of fail counter. But it doesn't have to be just for fails. It can be counting how many marshmallows you've put in your mouth, how many times you die in a game. There's all kinds of ways you can use this. Me and my wife recently did a 1v1 live on stream where we ate marshmallows and the one that could put the most marshmallows in their mouth. But the chat was counting the marshmallows as we went along. And this is the command that we used for it. Static text and it will count the fails and then some more static text so this uses count and then a space and then you name the count so we're calling this one fails and then it pluses one but if you put plus two or plus ten or whatever it will then add in the increments that you define the reason for giving it a name like this fails is that you can then have different types of these so you can have fails deaths and marshmallows and stuff like that but also you want to make sure that the static text lines up as well so i've put failed and then i've called it fails so just to illustrate this MD fail. Machine Day's failed on stream eight times. This could be how many times you slam your controller at the screen and break monitors. The world is literally your oyster with this. The next one I'm going to go through is kind of a static one as well, but I wanted to put this one in there just to illustrate that using commands to give really key information about your stream is something that you should do as a streamer. You really should be doing this. So you don't want to have to stop to explain something that's so easy to explain in a video explainer. Link in the description to go through some video explainers, by the way. Or maybe just some information about a particular aspect of your stream the example i use is the media share one and i've got a exclamation point media share guide link in the description if you want to know all about media share because i've done a video on this type exclamation point request and then the youtube url in chat for free media share request it just tells people how they can do this don't focus in on the fact that this is media share just focus in here on the fact that i'm giving key information about my stream to be more helpful to them and also to make the viewers a little bit autonomous as well i think i did actually turn off media share on my own channel but it would have returned that. I'll just turn this back on and try it again. This particular one's a much longer version. I've obviously trimmed it down for this video. I wouldn't recommend putting too much bulk chat. It does turn viewers off and often they don't even read it. The next one's quite a simple one as well. Exclamation point mods will tell your viewers who your mods are. Now you can actually do this on Twitch anyway with forward slash mods and it will list the mods here. But you may want to say something specifically about your mods or someone might forget that it's forward slash and put an exclamation point instead. So you might want to update and list who your mods are on your channel. This doesn't use any variables at all. It's just a static one, but you may want to just add that to your channel because it just doesn't take long to add an update to your channel. The next one, I've really not seen people use this much, but very early on in my Twitch engagement, I saw someone do this. Shout out to Dr. Doof, who was playing Factorio, and I asked him, what mods are you using on Factorio? And he just said, just type exclamation point mods. Brilliant. And it returned a URL to a Google document. I think it was an Excel document or a Google Sheet or whatever they call it on Google. I'm still waiting for that Excel. 
sell sponsorship, by the way, Microsoft. This is just a list of what your mods are. So, so this is just a list of the mods that I'm using on City Skylines when I was playing City Skylines. And obviously, because I'm using a live document, you can update the document without having to update the command itself. The command still works and it'll just be the document that'll have more information on it. This is really good, especially if you get like a really high volume of viewers and chat and things like that, because people will repeatedly ask you what mods you're using. You can just straight up add a command to your channel that links them to that. Really, really useful. It looks professional. It gives people more detail than you probably will give them over the microphone. So it's actually a better communication as well. The next one I've put as a static, but there is a way that you can use some variables for this as well. This is to show how people can earn loyalty on your channel. Now, if you've got CloudBot enabled and you're using the loyalty system, which interacts with a lot of the modules, such as heist mini games, gamble mini games, and things like that, media share, people are gonna want to know how they can earn your loyalty points. And within the loyalty point system under the settings, you can enable it, you can name it, and you can define what points people get. So I've set up a command called earn loyalty, and that just tells people how they can earn my loyalty points. Again, one of the objectives here is to reduce the questions and not having to explain things as much, but also just to give people richer information. So for me, it returns something along the lines of that. I'll just test it. Mine's actually earn GK. I actually renamed this because it's a little bit shorter, and mine's called girth clout, which is GK. There is a variable, which is the loyalty points name, and it uses loyalty dot name. So you can replace the actual status name with like the variable of your loyalty name which just means if you change the name of it in the future it will update the command without you having to change the command but the problem is if some of the static content that you've got in here sort of refers to it as well or it's quite a specific return that you've got there you're probably gonna have to update the command anyway which is why i didn't add the variable the next one's really straightforward exclamation point hug everyone needs a hug every now and again someone will join your chat and i guarantee some people will be having a bad day and i tell you and i promise you this exclamation point hug and their name you will make their day better and i'm telling you what they will come back to your stream it's just a nice thing to add so i've put big hugs to and then the target name uses their name as the variable and the good thing about this if you're feeling down yourself you can also give yourself a hug Get it added to your channel. It takes two seconds to do. The next command that I'm using here, again, it's actually a static command, but you can add variables to this command. I wanted to give this as an idea because I do this routinely every single stream. I update the today command. Now, the today command is just a command that someone can do and your viewers will get used to be able to come to your chat and do this command. You update it daily. It takes 20 seconds to update. And all you're going to do here is return some information about what's going on on the stream today. That's it. You're going to tell them what games you're playing, maybe some timings, whatever it is that you're doing that's interesting in that particular stream. Keep it succinct, but update that every single time. And it means that when you go live, particularly you have like a warm up phase of five or 10 minutes where you're not actually on screen, your viewers can join in, do the today command and see what's happening. It's a really simple, easy thing to do, but I've never seen this on anyone's stream. I've literally never seen it. I'm sure it exists, but I started doing it on my stream. I'm really keen to know if you guys find this useful. It's really not difficult to edit these every single time before you go live. Live. It's like 20 seconds. Now, the final one's just a little bit of fun. Konami. If you know the Konami code, you know the Konami code, okay? But you may want to share it with someone. Up, up, down, down, left, right, A, B, start, select. It's an old school reference. You can get this added to your stream. It's just kind of cool. I think it's pretty cool anyway, but then I'm a massive nerd, so. And there you have it. So there you go. Hopefully I've given you some inspiration here. If you're just jumping into this video and you've not seen the first video, then definitely check out the first one because the first one's more essential things I regard as being almost like a prerequisite, whereas these ones have been a little bit more creative, a little bit more nice to have stuff. Hopefully I've given you some really good ideas. If I did, do give it a like. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day. Take care. Wait, I've not even opened the staff room. Can using it already. Look at you sat down. Oh, it's me. <laughs>